Uh-oh. It is that time, mm-hmm. three and out, and a little friendly debate. Global see. basketball. Yes, it's about time, Charles. I've of been course, trying it's to a talk forever. Around here. Let's get it going. No, you haven't. You yeah, think? you kept saying, hold it off, hold it off. It wasn't time yet. Now it's time. All right? And I mean, let's get a, to the real. It's a new uh, Lobo it, team. It, yes. Okay? Yes. It's a new Lobo team. It is. It is. So let's get to what people really want to know. Expectations. What are your expectations for this team? I don't think it's anything less than an NCAA tournament bid, and I don't care if it's a new team. We, you know, three years ago they had to go through a new team. They, they go did. through new, new teams all the time. It happens. Um, I believe in Craig Neal. Mm-hmm. I think he recruited our old teams before with Steve Alford. He did. And I think he's recruiting this new team. It's going to take them a little bit to gel. Mm-hmm. They're more guard heavy, and they're going to have to rely on three-point shooting, and the speed of play is going to have to be faster. Yeah. But I think Hugh Greenwood will step up and be more of a scorer, and I, I, we know what Colin Neal can do. A lot of people who don't believe in Colin Neal, I don't think, haven't watched him as, as much as you and I have uh-huh. watched him, Charles. The kick and So, you know, athletes like Deshaun Delaney mm-hmm. and, and I think Goodman coming in, the JUCO transfer, yeah. is the best JUCO in the nation last year. Once they get acclimated, a jet, once he gets acclimated mm-hmm. in the middle, um, I think the Lobos are gonna be, they're gonna be fine. I agree. What I'm struggling with is I'm trying to figure out where the points are gonna come from. Someone has to score. You have Greenwood, who's a six point scorer. Cullen's the returning leading scorer. He, he put up seven last year. And Delaney, I like Deshaun Delaney emerging as the probably the, the premier score for us, the, the guy where He's going to get us the 14 to 18 point range. He'll be the leading scorer. Yeah, but we need some, we, they, they don't need two other guys to put up some points. They're very athletic. Uh, I watched a couple of exhibitions. They're probably one of our mo- more athletic teams we've had in the past uh, from, from start to finish. And they're big. Ajet is big, but he's fragile. He's you know, seven. Yeah, one. I think we don't know Neil has proven that he can handle big guys, though, and teach them the ways. Yes. You remember Alex Kirk when oh, he came yeah. in his and freshman people were, year? People were saying he'd never play. Exactly. And look where he's at now. And now, he, now he's playing with LeBron James in the NBA. Mm-hmm. So, and, and, well, and look at look at Cameron Barrister. Yeah. He's with the Chicago Bulls. Mm-hmm. Okay. These are these are players that were are bigs and they were soft and fragile. And yeah. so I think that that our coaching staff does a great job of developing yeah, these guys. So I think a jet will start to fit in. Um, how about Arthur Edwards, too? I think that's I like, a piece, an I athletic like, piece, Devin I Williams I think he's piece. going to be a bigger piece than what people uh, probably realize. Uh, Edwards gives you the flexibility to move Hugh to, to the two position where he can probably be a little bit more aggressive and get some points. It allows you to sit uh, Cullen for a while if he needs a breather uh, to, or to move Delaney over and have him uh, – as far as matchups, put him on someone who he can guard a little better. That's what I like about Edwards. It gives them a little bit more flexibility. Uh, what makes me nervous is three-point shooting. Teams that live by the threes die by uh, the three. Threes. And if we're not crashing the boards, well, getting the rebounds. Well, it depends on how good defensively they're going to be. Yeah. I know they're working on zone mm-hmm. mostly, actually. Yeah. And then they're going to also work on their man-to-man, man-to-man situations. But Neil came out in a press conference yesterday and just said, look, um, it's a work in progress. It is. But he, they're comfortable with their, where they're at. And I think completely opposite of what Bob Davies says on the football team is, yeah. is Neil saying they can get it done now. Yes, of course. So I believe in that. I this, trust in that. Okay, you know, I'm not even a homer. This is a winning program. We win around here. So you're supposed All to be we confident. Win, win. So, so, going with that? so what I'm saying is 15 to 20 <clears throat> wins. I, 15 I, would be bad. I, wouldn't I know. I'm saying 15 to 20 wins, that's, that's considered a bad season. How here, we, we're looking for 20 to 25 wins. A nice Minimum. tournament ex, uh, appearance, and even a Mount West title. Real quick, so. before we move on subjects, mm-hmm. 30 seconds left, tie game. Who is the go-to guy for the Lobos? That's what I'm, I'm waiting is to see. Is it Hugh? I, is it Colin? Is it, is it Delaney? Yeah. We don't know, right? We don't know, and we're going to find. That's the best part about a, a newer team. You're growing. You're maturing. They'll, the, they'll end up where they're supposed to be. You'll figure out who the go-to player is in a situation like that, and who, only time to tell. Don't give up on Cullen Neal yet, though. That's why I keep wanting to tell I, people. He has to mature a little people bit more. People don't understand how good he is. He can, he can light it up. He's got to mature a little right. more. Let's keep it with hoops, mm-hmm. and let's move on, though, because a little bit more familiar to us hoops, it's preps time, Charles. And this is the U Sports 6A Hoops Top 10 poll. This is Charles Ashley, okay? So Charles 
We're Who do you got in this top we, we 10? Are, I want you to break that I'm, down, I'm, or I'm, I'm going to argue you, with I'm going to give you my top 10. Okay, do so it. at number one, I got Cleveland. Now, we are both going to agree on this. I got Cleveland at number one because they have the talent. The problem with Cleveland, that, that only problem for me for Cleveland is every time there's been a big-time game, they have seen they, they didn't perform to the level that most people always predict they would. Every year they're saying, hey, oh, Cleveland's going to do this. We'll find out this is the if they're going to get over that hump. This is the year Cleveland's expected to do something mm -hmm. since they made a Final Four mm -hmm. run back in 2011, where they ended up losing to the mm -hmm. eventual champs on Yate. Okay, so I think Brian Smith knows his stuff. I believe in that. And the returning duel that they have with Ryan Jones, the best guard in the state, okay. in my opinion, the best guard in the state, is going to go play D1. And Marcus Williams, who's playing football right now, but – a fantastic forward, right? I mean, the fantastic. junior can do whatever you want. Josiah Mabu, he helms the point guard. Don't uh, you name got the Henry whole team. Hattis. Uh, Don't look, name. I'm gonna name. Let, let me finish my okay, top so ten. I, I'm gonna agree with you. That's. I just think it's important. Just because they're yelling in our ear, <laughs> I'm gonna finish okay. out the top ten. And you finish tell me out if the you top agree. ten. Sandia, I got at two. No, that's why I got at two. Go ahead. Uh, I have Carl's bad at three. I like them. I'll, I'll tell you why. I got Albuquerque High at four. Your Homer Bull. Okay, Lou Holtz. Whatever. I have Hobbs. <laughs> I have El Dorado. I like El Dorado's team. Yeah. Okay. I like Cibola. I just think they need their guards need to develop, but I like Liddell and Cunningham. I like Rio Rancho. I do like Liddell and Cunningham. I like, there we go. I like Valley at nine. I think they're going to have to grow. And I like Cruces because Coach Benjamin William Always Benjamin's great. coaches his teams up. I agree. I like William Benjamin. I don't think they're in the top ten, though. I don't think they're returning enough talent. I'm going to put Mayfield above Las Cruces because no. of one name, Kavika Johnson. I think, what? The, I think the real what rancher ran slided at five. I'm going to push your Bulldogs back to six. I'll take it. I got Hobbs and Carlsbad in that top ten, and Eldorado all the way up to two, in my opinion. We're pretty much. Wait a minute. So who's in there that I don't have in? Noah Schweitzer and David Inman. I just switched it around and one extra. And you took Benjamin out, though. Mayfield. Okay.